prognosis, Fertile Myrtle. Minus or plus? There it is. Little pink plus sign is so unholy. That ain't no extra sketch. This is one doodle that can't be undid, home skillet. Just tell him. I'm pregnant. Who is the father? It's Polly Bleeker. Polly Bleeker? I don't think you had it in. I know, right? <laughs> Did you see that coming? Yeah, but I was hoping she was expelled her into her drugs. Her DWI? Anything but this. I could, like, have this baby and, and give it to someone that like, totally needs it. You should look at the penny saver. They have ads for parents. Yeah, desperately seeking spot. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Hi, I'm the husband. This, of course, is Juno. Like the city in Alaska. No. You're a part-time lover and a full-time friend. Come on, when this is all over, then we can always get back together. Uh, were we together? Yeah, we were once, you know. At time. You think you're really gonna do this thing? If I could just have the thing and, and give it to you now, I totally would, but I'm guessing it looks probably like a sea monkey right now. We should let it get a little cuter, right? Great. Keep it in the oven. Fox Searchlight Pictures presents a comedy about life. Well, I thought you were the kind of girl who knew when to say when. I don't really know what kind of girl I am. And the bumps along the way. Your little girlfriend gave me the stink eye in our class yesterday. Katrina's not my girlfriend, right? And I doubt that she gave you the stink eye. That's just the way her face looks, you know? That's just her face. I don't know if I'm even ready to be a father. I'm gonna be puppy version of June Bug. Pretty good. So, dealing with things way beyond my maturity level? <laughs> possible that two people can stay happy together forever. The best thing you can do is find a person who loves you for exactly what you are. You know. Your parents are probably wondering where you are. Mm, uh, I mean, I'm already pregnant, so what other kind of shenanigans can I get into? <laughs> This is a crisis. I don't think this actually qualifies as a crisis. It's an alarm. It's, it's like we're in orange. Exactly, but we're in yellow, okay? So we should just be aware and be cautious. When it hits red, then we're in trouble. There's a moment in everyone's life. I gained some weight. I didn't say anything. When childhood ends and adulthood begins. For John and Wendy Savage, that moment is now. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Do something! There's a doctor. He's not that kind of doctor, Dad. I said my boy was a doctor. Doctor philosophy? Teaches theater. Like boy play? No, like theater of social unrest. <laughs> Looks like the Unabomber lives here. The couch is actually pretty comfortable. Great. Where is it? <laughs> place with an opening they can take them right away. What kind of place? In this country they call them nursing homes. You still there? I got us an interview. It's called Green Hill Man. Sounds like an insane asylum. You're an idiot. Can you just play the game? Ah! I'm funny. <laughs> We'll need to know your father's burial or cremation plans. What kind of question is that? Something they want for the records. Who? The people who run the place. What the hell kind of hotel is it? Fox Searchlight Pictures presents... Maybe Dad didn't abandon us. Maybe he just forgot who we were. A serious comedy about what happens when everyone in the family... What do you think? What's it do? Nothing. ...finally starts acting their age. Doing the right thing, man. Taking better care of the old man than you're under the bus. I know. When you're dealing with dementia, you have to bring things in to stimulate their memory. Excuse me. Uh, we we haven't served refreshments yet. I'm just away.